Hey YouTube, I want to bring to you today a Windows 10 tip about how to find and diagnose the problem of st low storage space if you're not exactly aware what mysterious files may or may not be taking up space on your computer like, it, like, like they are on mine. I got a, me a message, a notification on the right side in the um, center here, Action Center that said you need to install updates just like that but you don't have su sufficient space um, so that really made me look even though I had already been I, are, I, I had already been aware that I've been dangerously low on storage space recently I just ignored it because I didn't plan on doing any downloading in the near future so but anyway this is what this is what happened this is what you do. You hit Windows key plus I. Bring up settings. System. Storage. And you hit C. You can go to E or D or, or whatever uh, volume is affected on your computer. But my C drive, my solid state, is here. Um, I actually have 630 free. I had 230 earlier, but I forgot what I deleted. But anyway, um, to make this really short, because I've tried to record this video a couple times and I keep messing up, um, to keep this kind of short, it ended up being my AMD folder. It's in other. None of these was the culprit. They may or may not be on your computer for your reasons, but in, in my case, it was other. You can see 40.7, and then... Um, 37.5 gigabytes and uh, as you can see games it's not just the, all the numbers here for all these things are just way too small to cause storage space problems but anyway I ignored this event uh, initially because that's my graphics card and I just didn't think about it but I ended up googling this um, AMD folder huge in those exact terms and I, I found a few different forum threads about what happens is when you download and install an AMD graphics driver its contents extract to a subfolder automatically in this location uh, your local disk C and then AMD and um, the reason for that is just in case the user needs to repair their installation all the files will automatically conveniently be right here and it does it automatically when you do that it's not manual but anyway, what I discovered is you can delete this AMD folder, but I'm probably going to keep the folder itself and download all, uh, not download, but delete all these contents. I'm going to delete all of these things. And what I discovered is a time capsule going back four years and seven months, March 18th, 2013. That's, a, that's um, when I built this computer. It predates Windows 10, and it predates... Um, the Crimson drivers. You can see the final Catalyst driver was 7-29-2015. And then you go up to 12-18-2015 when Crimson came out. But anyway, um, that's not important. But all of these folders are at least 100 plus megabytes. That one right there is 71, but I can hover over a few other of these. See, this one in particular is 905 um, 172 for that one, same for that one, and all of these are the same story, they're at least 100, and all of these Windows hardware quality license folders, they're all 500, 600 megabytes a piece. So basically, four, four years and seven months of backlogged display drivers, and all of these aren't important to keep on your computer. So I'm going to get uh, 30... Seven, what was this? 37.5, yeah, gigabytes of space back. That's going to make me happy because I've been pretty low for a long time. For a while, I was stuck around 13 to 15 gigabytes, and then my space just started disappearing, and I, and I, I actually eventually ran out of various things to delete, and my space just kept getting smaller. But anyway. That's about as long as this video needs to be uh, for the contents that I had, and um, I hope it's useful for you. See you later.